Now to a murder mystery in the Bahamas. The South Florida owner of a popular Bimini bar gunned down minutes after returning home from work. The killing leaving family and friends shot tonight and wondering if better emergency care on the island could have saved him. Local 10 News reporter Louis Aguirre live down with the details for us tonight. Louis. Well, that's the thing, Calvin. Miami businessman Alain Perez could not get the medical attention he needed when he was shot in Bimini. Now he's dead and his family is wondering why. No hay palabra para una madre perder un hijo. Zoraida Gomez is shattered. Her son, Alain Perez, is dead, shot to death by a gunman early Sunday morning at his condo in Bimini. And no one knows why. No merecía morir como murió. He did not deserve to die like he did. The 47 year old was the owner of Big John's restaurant, a Bimini hotspot. Perez had reportedly locked up for the night Saturday and went home. I received a phone call telling me that Alain had been shot. Juan Carrera was Perez's good friend and attorney. He happened to be in Bimini that weekend and raced to the clinic where his dying friend told them what happened. After just arriving home, he heard a desperate knock at the door. When he answered, a gunman wearing a mask and a hoodie. He struggled with uh, the assailant and tried to grab the weapon, but he was shot six times. The injuries severe and the clinic ill-equipped to treat him. The clinics there do not have the capacity to deal with traumatic injury. Carrera says he tried to get his friend airlifted to Jackson Memorial Hospital, but he died before that could happen. They do not have adequate medical treatment, and, um, and um, he expired there. Now, Carrera is warning other travelers to the island about what could happen should they too suffer trauma. The pain too much to bear for this family, his longtime girlfriend says, all they want now is justice. Y solo estamos pidiendo un poco de justicia. Perez was the father of three. His body is now in NASA, where an autopsy is being performed. The results of that are expected by next week as Bahamian police investigate just what happened. We're live in Miami tonight. Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News. Our best to their family. Louis, thank you.